right, next thing. If you're a Summers fan, we're marking your house with RR. Like, hit the to the Jews. I think we can all say this shit right now. In November, this underground beef shit get wicked. I don't think we'll ever know why. These niggas always got this urge to say something about somebody. I think we all need to set up a Def Jam in real life. Where all the underground rappers box each other. Fuck that basketball shit. Fuck all that other shit. Let's box. All this damn rambling y'all doing online. We some grown ass man. Some of y'all niggas got full out beard typing paragraphs to another man. So let me quit all this damn rambling and tell y'all what I want to say. Now, don't get me wrong. We love Isaiah T. But sometimes then they can be tripping. Sometimes he just speaking his mind like a real nigga. But sometimes he might go a little overboard. And that's fine. But this shit right here is what caused problems, man. We don't need this shit right now. We don't need no more niggas pulling out Fortnite guns and giving out beatdowns. We just don't need it. But if y'all underground niggas want to really speak y'all mind, can we really handle this shit like, man, let's throw some fucking hands, man. That's the only reason why I got respect for the whole situation that been going going on with Homicide Gang of Summer. Cause these niggas ain't doing that rambling. They ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? You can't diss somebody and not back up the shit that you're saying. More of the story, I'm not sure why Isaiah T.G. said this shit. And we all know that Isaiah was born for that beef shit. Him and Jay's got that same energy where they just ready. They was born for that beef shit. And I'm not too sure why. But Isaiah T.G. been going live on his Instagram a lot. But I feel like for some reason he been a little more positive. You know what I'm saying? He just been chilling with his fans and that's cool. But I feel like this where he messed up a little bit. It was 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm not sure why he brought up Summers, but he has some shit to say. Now don't get me wrong, I have dark humor. That's just how my homeboys rock. But this shit was a little too far. He told anybody that was a Summers fan in his life, he wasn't just clowning Summers. He told these niggas that they was gonna mark double R on his doors. Anything he got something to do with, they gonna mark it with a symbol. Just like how Hitler did the Jew. I don't really understand the joke. If y'all niggas don't understand what I'm saying, I'm gonna just go ahead and play the clip for y'all. Alright, next thing. If you're a Summers fan, we're marking your house with RR like Hitler did to the Jews. We marking your shit with RR. Your businesses, your homes, everywhere you stay at, you feel me, everywhere you reside. We marking your shit down and we you down too. I really don't know if Summers and Isaiah Teacher got a problem with each other, but if anybody watching this video, if you was in his live or something like that and you know what he's talking about, or if you got context to this whole situation, just let me know in the comments. Because right now, this shit looking weird. I love Isaiah Teacher music and I love Summers music. I just don't really understand this whole situation, man. If niggas don't like each other, then they don't like each other. But going back and forth is kind of crazy. But make sure to comment what y'all think about this whole situation. Is Isaiah joking or is he tripping? But it's D U T I E. I ain't sister myself for no bitch. Comment what anime y'all been watching, man. Make sure to follow my IG. But I love y'all niggas so much. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.